bodily comfort will not save you. Suppose a man is very comfortably situated. Does it mean that he will not die? He will die. So simply by bodily comfort you cannot exist. Survival of the fittest, struggle for existence. So when we simply take care of the body, that is called dharma glani, polluted. One must know. What is the necessity of the body and what is the necessity of the soul? The real necessity of life is to supply the comforts of the soul. And the soul can be comforted not by material adjustment, because soul is a different identity. The soul must be given spiritual food. That spiritual food is this Krishna consciousness. If you give the soul the spiritual food, when one is diseased, you have to give him diet and medicine. Two things required. If you simply give medicine, no diet, that will not be very successful. Both things. So, this Krishna consciousness movement is meant for giving food, means diet and medicine to the soul. The medicine is this Hare Krishna Mahavan. Bhavaushadhi chotra mano virama ka uttama sroka gunanu badad virajyati pumana vinapasuna Parikhita Maharaj said to Sukhdev Goswami that this Bhagavat discussion which you are prepared to give me, it is not ordinary thing. Nidvitya tarsai rupa giyamana. This Bhagavat discussion is realizable by persons who are nidvitya trishna. Trishna, trishna means hankering. Everyone in this material world is hankering. Hankering. So one who is freed from this hankering, he can test the Bhagavat, how palatable it is. It is such a thing. Nidvitya tarsai. Similarly, Bhagavat means also the Hare Krishna mantra is also Bhagavat. Bhagavat means anything in relationship with the Supreme Lord. That is called Bhagavan. The Supreme Lord is called Bhagavan, Bhagavat Sabda. And in relationship with Him, anything that Bhagavat Sabda turns into Bhagavat Sabda. So, Purikit Maharaj said that the taste of Bhagavata can be released by person who has finished his hankering of material desire. Nidvitya Tarasai Rupagiyamana. Why such things should be tasted? Bhavaushadhi. Bhavaushadhi. Medicine for our disease of birth and death. Bhava means become. Our at the present moment we are in disease condition. They do not know what is disease condition and what is the healthy condition. These rascals. They do not know anything. Still they are passing on as great scientists, philosophers. They do not inquire that I do not want to die. Why death is enforced upon me? There is no such inquiry. Neither there is any solution. And still the scientist. What kind of scientist? Science means that you advance in knowledge so that your miserable condition of life can be reduced, minimized. That is science. Otherwise, what is this science? They are simply promising in future. But what you are delivering just now, sir, now just now you suffer, as you are suffering, go on suffering. In future we shall find out some chemicals. No, actually, atantik dukha nivritti. Atantik, ultimate 
Atanti means ultimate. Dukha means separate. That should be the aim of human life. So they do not know what is atantik dukkha. Dukkha means suffering. The atantik dukkha is pointed out in the Bhagavad Gita. Here is the atantik dukkha, sir. What is this? Jarma mitu jarabhyadi. Birth, death, old age, and disease. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare.